So I've got Dixie saddled. I saddled her in the barn and walked her out here in for the first time. I've been saddling her, haven't I? Um, same thing of starting with my with my circle drill. So we're going together. And she is just flicking her ear on that saddle, but I don't feel like it's uh, unwillingness to stay at the walk. I'm not having to work on keeping her at the walk. Anyways, we'll see what happens when we go trot, but I wanted to show you and explain what I do if she does go faster than I want. So before I do that though, this is your, your basics of my circle drill. So we're going together, but I'm in a lunging position so that I can tell her to get off of me. I throw energy at her cinch, like where my is where my foot's gonna be when I feel it with my foot. So there. And when I stop my feet, she should continue around me following the heel on my rope, which she did, that was great. And then I teach her the hind end under, which is what I do if she goes too fast. Cause she can trot, she can trot on this tiny little circle. So, and I don't want her to. So if I go here, circle, I'm trying to slow her down, pretend. I'm trying to slow her down. I'm not gonna fight with her face. I don't wanna piss her off. I don't want to, because she's not, she's not being bad. She thinks that she's supposed to do groundwork in this crazy panicky manner. So. She thinks she's being good. I'm gonna just change her mind. We don't do groundwork that way. So there's your hind end under. That's your disengage. See? Disengage. And then if I stop my feet, whoop, whoop. Put a little pressure on the rope there. Change direction. Stay at walk. So this is great. This direction she has. Uh, a more forward walk, almost. She, she's not as comfortable going this way, and she will break into trot going this direction more so than going the other way. And I wonder, a lot, I wonder if it's uh, unfamiliar, uncomfortable going this way. So she just wants to hurry up, get over with. So that was good. I can take that rushing kind of energy and turn it into this circle. So then we come off our circle. So we're going together. I should do everything correct. I'm holding my, like in a lunging position, but I'm leading her. We're going together. I'm going to find her front feet. My front feet are going to be there to at least in the same way it goes. Tell her to keep going. Doesn't take much. But this with my rope, telling her to keep going. Now if I shorten up, walk to her hip, bring her nose in, change my hand. Now I'm gonna get further away. I can ask her to trot. Awesome job. Awesome job. Look at her looking. Good girl. Good girl. So she does have I'm going faster, faster, faster. So I'm just gonna put some pressure here. Look 
nice job. I'm gonna let her stay out there. So not hold her hand. And hold her accountable to it. I said walk and we're just gonna walk. And it's gonna be okay. Don't do that to her because you don't know. They won't, they won't like you. So, you need to show them just a normal eye look. I want to show them her a little bit. Like, I don't show them her. A little bit. Like, moment of confusion there. Man, oh man. It's okay, I'm gonna press your face. Hold her there for a second, do it. And then I didn't have to hold her anymore to let me do it. to take off is still there, but she's not doing it. And I think she's happier. I know she's happier without having to act like that. So now I'm gonna reel her in a little and go with her. So back on our circle. I wanna stop her out here or maybe do another change of direction or two. Um, I've been letting her be a little lazy on the front end of the rock part. I'm asking her to step under by timing in with 
Even that I want to cut her. It's I wanted to catch her nose to hold her still so that I could get over here and she will kill me. Good girl. Oh, you don't like 